Hey, what's up guys? Thomas Roger here. Today, and I am going to show you guys my Ed Sheeran album CD collection as of January 2021. And today also marks the three-year anniversary of me showing off my Ed Sheeran CD collection as well. Back in 2018 was my first ever Ed Sheeran CD collection for you guys, and it was uploaded on 9th of January 2018. And also... Ten years ago today, Ed, Ed also released the number five collaborations project as well on the 9th of January 2011. And today is the 9th of January 2021. And it will be perfect fitting of me showing you guys my another Ed, an updated version of my Ed Sheeran album CD collection. And it's grown a little bit from last year's, I think the last one was last June, I think the last... CD collection as well, album CD collection as well, and yeah, I'll show you guys all the EPs, all the albums for you guys today. Yeah, let's go. I won't be showing you guys my singles, single CDs, because this video will be going on way too long if I showed you guys the singles as well, what I've got. I'll be only showing you guys the CD, album CDs. Yeah, let's go. Firstly, I'm going to show you guys the for Ed's first independent albums that he released in like... 2005, 2006, 2007 as well. They're all, well, most of them are copied burnt on a disc and I'm gonna show you guys them now. And here is the Orange Room EP. It's burnt on a, it's burnt on a disc, as I say, I'll keep saying it right now. I remember the first ever video that I did on the Ed Collection. People were commenting, oh, they're burnt. I did say, but I didn't say it specifically. Yes, you can tell it's a Burnt copy disc of the Orange Room EP. Yep. Here we go, the Orange Room EP. Burn it on a disc right there. And if you guys like me standing up as well, like showing, showing you guys my Ed Sheeran CD, album CD collection as well. And the second one is Ed Sheeran self titled album, which came out in 2000. Well, <laughs> which Ed released in 2006 independently under the Sheeran Lock label. Uh, open your ears to the way home right there and there's Ed Sheeran self-titled burnt on a disc again copied on a disc burnt on a disc right there and we've got want some which is burnt on a disc copied and burnt on a disc you break me to I can't spell plus the piano version of you break me as well you Want some right there. Love it. And also, guys, I've actually got... You ready? You ready, guys? Are you ready? Are you ready? The original copy of Want Some. Look at that. <laughs> the original copy... I want some. There's the proof right there. It's even more proof. Can you guys... It, it can't focus in. But it's the Sheeran lock there. Want some by Ed Sheeran on a... The original... Oh, wait, well, I can see myself. Want some by Ed Sheeran as well. Ooh. There we go. Eh. Eh. Here we go. Want some. By Ed Sheeran. Want some. Right there. Just, this is also my favourite independent album from that time as well. 2007 Ed Sheeran. Sheeran Luck Limited. There's right there. Yes. The original copy of Want Some. And I got it. Pre cheaper than expected, I'd say. Yes. Not like the ridiculous price on eBay. I got it cheaper than expected. Want some by Ed Sheeran, the original copy. I'll show you guys side by side comparisons of the copied version versus the original copy version. <clears throat> Here we go. Love them. Love it. Love it. And I'm going to show you guys. Yeah, that's the first time I'm showing you guys the original copy of Want Some right there. 
I bought it, I think, in like November time, I think. <laughs> yes, and now I'm going to show you one of my favourite best purchases. Best purchase, I think. And yeah, I'm going to show you guys Ed's EPs now. Let's go. So, um, I'm on an apprenticeship and I've got a job. So, if you guys are, like, oh, blah, 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 I got a job, an apprenticeship job. And yeah, I just treat myself sometimes to some of Ed's CDs and that now, which I'm so glad of doing. But it's worth it, I, in my opinion, growing my Ed Sheeran collection more. And yeah, let's go on to Ed's EPs now. And also, I got, well, I've got this November 2019. So, 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 so rare. It's got the song Ed Sheeran Saturday. I remember where it used to be on Spotify. It got taken down, sadly, so I'm okay. And I knew this existed somewhere. And I've got, this is the original Sounds of the East Coast 2, which was only sold in Suffolk only. Yes. And I saw it on eBay one day, and I'm like, what? I've never seen that before. And I actually got it for pretty cheap as well. I'm like, wow. Sounds, sound waves amplified the coast. Sounds of the East Coast 2 right there. So amazing. Ed Sheeran's Saturday. Pretty much an unreleased song on this compilation indie album of, un of artists coming up in the industry from Suffolk as well. Now the actual EPs itself. <laughs> Sorry about that. And, um, I'm gonna grab them all. Quite a few, y'all. But got well, you know. I'll show you guys. You need me. So in here, I actually showed you guys it in the last video, which was like six or seven months ago. Um, I'll be a bit zooms in this time. Focus. Yeah, it's got sheer and lock. And there, it's like I saw this on eBay. Like, wow, it's just the disc version, disc version only, not the um case, not the cover case, because this is actually the, this is actually to the re-release of Union Me EP, and it's in, and it's in here. And Sheer and Lock, you can easily see the comparison. Right there, because that's more redder. This one's more oranger. And it says Sheer and Lock there, which, you know. Which it won't focus on. And it's got a, a black, like, layer. And also, this Uni Me EP is, it's the studio version of it, and the re-release versions, are, and an acoustic one of the Uni Me EP. <laughs> Look, you can see that's the re-release, and this one is the Sheer and Lock version, the studio version of Uni Me EP. And also, of course, it's it's with the five pack and the five pack here. Yes, five pack. And I believe this is the Sodom Gingerbread Man Records, and this was re-released after Ed signed to a label. Yeah, where everyone can have a copy, but the um, the originals are so hard to find. And now we're on to Loose Chain GP. Now, are you guys ready? You guys, you know, I'll show you the re-release first of you of Loose Change EP, one of my favourite EPs out of the five lot. Let it out, sofa, homeless little bird sofa, one night, Firefly, the city, Firefly, bravado, dubstep remix right there. Love it a lot, Loose Change EP right there. And are you guys ready? I've got the original copy of Loose Change EP. With the A-Team, Homeless, Little Bird, Sofa, One Night, Firefly, The City Lipstick Studios and Firefly Bravado Subset Remix. You can see the um, Sheeran lock as well. And also it says Ed Sheeran there, Loose Change. And also, I just I just no, noticed this the other day. Litter Owl isn't on the original copy of Loose Change. The reason why is because... There was a, Ed released a Let It Out promo CD, 
which is right here and was only, at the time, only released on this promo CD right here. And not on the original copy of Loose Change EP. That's quite um, amazing, isn't it? But of course, on the re-release, Let It Out's on there and the A-Team's on, on Plus. <laughs> that's, quite, that's quite that's quite amazing, that is. That Let It Out's on here and not on the original copy of Loose Change. Yes. Yeah. Put Let It Out back in the singles column. Loose Change right there. Songs I wrote with Amy, right here, another one of my favourite EPs by Ed. I love all the EPs, but there's something about Loose Change and songs I wrote with Amy, which I love. And, but you know, I love them all, but yeah. Songs I wrote with Amy, right there. This is the only, the re-release of it. I'm, well, I'm trying to look for the original copy for it. This is the only one which I need the original copy for, for songs I wrote with Amy. Yeah, yeah, Poor Print Records was, well, and then licensed to Warner Music Limited for, for the re-release copy of the EPs, yes. And also for Loose Change, I'll show you, the, back to Loose Change now. Uh, I don't, I don't, right, here we go, Loose Change right there, the CD, with the... Again, it's more orange, and it's and that's like red loose change, and this has got like a funky loose change font. That's just like standard font right there, and it sh says sheer and lock. I tried to focus it, and it won't focus. But oh well. Loose change back in there. I already showed you guys songs I wrote with Amy. Ah yes. Wow, it's just weird holding these two in my hand. Uh, live at the Bedford EP, only the CD version right here. Uh, recorded at Bedford Ballum on Sunday the 17th of October 2010. Only the CD version of it, the re-release version of Live at the Bedford right there. And you guys ready? Are you guys ready for this? I've got the DVD and CD copy of live at the bedford ep right here i've only plus you can't focus on it because i've got ed's signature right in there if you guys can see it it won't focus bloody hell i need, I need a new camera i think I, I always record off my ipad yeah you can see it now well Ed's autograph right in there. Well, it's just like E there. Yeah. I'll even show you guys the CD and DVD as well. Opens up like that. Oh. We got the D DVD. And there. Oh. There the CD. Oh. The DVD is the most important thing from this, I think. The DVD of Live at the Bedford. Such an amazing concert as well from from the Bedford pub in London. And then the original copy of the CD as well. And also with this CD as well is this is the only time on the DVD copy was Ed was singing We Are. And it's one of my favourite songs ever. We are. It's so touching. It's about a friend who died sadly on a school trip when Ed was around 14 and wrote it for the time at the time where Ed felt comfortable of writing it. We are. And also the only time I saw this sold was on the Ed Sheeran Main Suffolk Legacy auction in 2020. And I, when I saw this, I'm like, what? What? Live at the Bedford EP. I need, I need, I need, I've never seen this before. <laughs> I've never seen this before anywhere, not on eBay, not on any other site. But it was well worth it though, because it was for a charity. It was for, it was two charities in Suffolk. Uh, the Thomas Wolsey Ormiston Academy and I forgot the other one. But and for another charity as well, two charities 
and they overall raised £504,000 for uh, children with disabilities, learning difficulties and that. And I'm so proud of donating money to charity and, to, and for winning this Ed Sheeran Live at the Bedford EP right here. Look at that. <laughs> Thank you so much, everyone who organized everything on the Maiden Suffolk Legacy auction last year. I will treasure this forever. Yeah. <laughs> I've only got one more EP to go to wherever. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm just... Yeah. Yeah, the last EP is the number five collaborations project right there. That is the re-release version. And also it's number five's birthday today. Ten years ago, Ed released the number five collaborations project and it pretty much made, set it on to a record label. I believe Elton John found it and, it and it peaks at number two on the iTunes chart as well. Yes, it peaks at number two on the iTunes chart and it features rappers like Devlin, Wiley, P Money, JME, Michael Pe Michael Payne, Guess, Random Imp Impulse, Way Rich Thirty Two, and Dot Rotten. Some of the some of the OG grime artists back then, back in two thousand ten and two thousand eleven as well. And also, I've got the original copy of Number Five right here. Without a barcode and that, like with um, the other new change and that, yep. And that with the Bedford. Yeah, number five right here. The original copy. Number five collaborations projects. Just like the, with the Live at the Bedford where it just comes out like that. Yeah, I love it a lot. It's number five collaborations projects on CD. Yes. Yeah, you can't see, but, you, but yeah, you can clearly see it's Sheeran Lock. Yes, it says Sheeran Lock Limited down here somewhere. Sorry, it can't focus for you guys. Yeah, here is the number five collaboration projects. The 10 year birthday today of number five. And yeah, let's go on to his albums now. His main studio album signed to Atlantic Records. Yeah, let's go. Before we go on to Ed's main albums, main studio albums, I, well, I got this from eBay as well, a burnt copy of One Take EP, which was only free on online in, I believe, early 2011, and it included two songs from, from Plus, Ed playing it acoustically, and Wafering Stranger, right there, a cover which is amazing as well. And I personally copied these CDs as well. iTunes Festival 2011. I, believe, I, thought, I thought I copied iTunes Festival 2012, but I don't think I did. Sadly, yes. I don't think I did copy iTunes Festival 2012. But I've actually seen it a couple of times online. Uh, iTunes Festival 2011, somewhere on eBay. And I believe iTunes Festival 2012 on CD as well, but I've never really seen them before. But I've copied two, the 2011 iTunes Festival on here. And a thank you EP by Ed Sheeran. I believe this was only released online as well. Yes, thank you EP Ed Sheeran. And also the iTunes Festival was also released on the iTunes Store as well. Of course, iTunes. Yes. <laughs> thank you EP by Ed Sheeran. Thank you everyone for the album. Thank you for plus and that. Thank you for all the fans. And also the Slumdon Bridge EP right here, which was with Yellow Wolf. And, and that, this was only released online as well. Yes. The Slumdon Bridge EP. What, such an underrated EP, in my opinion. One of the most underrated EPs. I believe more underrated than them. Because for me, in on Spotify, apparently it's not available in my country or not on Spotify. And I think the release is on Valentine's Day 2012. And yes, such an underrated EP. And yeah, now we're going to go on to the main studio albums now. I have got the standard edition of Plus right here with the 18 to Give Me Love, just the standard UK edition of Plus, and the 
UK deluxe edition of Plus right here with the A Team to, to Sunburn and four extra tracks. Autumn Leaves, The Little Bird, Gold Rush, and Sunburn right here. And yeah, I love it a lot. Yes, love it. I, I also was years, a couple, a few years ago, I, I just wanted the deluxe edition of Plus so badly. Like, I need, I need, I need. Well, yeah, here is the deluxe edition of Plus right here. And the Australian deluxe version of Plus with the with the track list there, with the deluxe, the 18 to sunburn, and also a DVD with the Shepherd's Bush Empire gig as well. Just a few songs from there. Well, 12 songs from that gig right there. Grade 8 to You Need Me, I Don't Need You, and also Ed performs Homeless from Loose Change, and the songs from the album as well there. The Australian... The looks version right there, love it. And also, I was looking for this for a long time as well. I'm so glad I got it now because the DVD, the DVD, yes, because of the DVD, because of the DVD, pretty much. <laughs> and also the Japanese version of Plus here with this alternative cover right here. I got this last year. Japanese version, still in its original wrapping, because it's got the Japanese. Things there, which I, I like a lot with like Japanese albums and Japanese writing there. And I just love this alternative cover because it's so different from the other versions and that. Got that. And also on the back, it's Ed with a cat. We, we all know Ed loves cats a lot. Yep. And the and also it includes a bonus track, the 18 acoustic version right there. Yes. Love it. Plus... Japanese version. It doesn't include any Japanese songs. It would be amazing if it did, but yeah, it just includes an alternative cover, which I love, and an alternative back cover with an acoustic version of the 18. Now on to Multiplay. We are now on Multiplay, and here is my Multiplay collection, and here is my first ever Ed Sheeran CD that I ever got, and the songs like I'm a Mess, Nina, Tenerife Sea, Runaway, The Man, and A File of Made Me a Shirio. All of the underrated songs, not radio songs. Yeah, this album made me into a Shirio in October 2015. Yeah, there is Multiply. And here is the deluxe edition of Multiply as well, with this light green, green thingy on the CD. Sure that isn't it now. Right there, and it includes the songs Take It Back, Shirt Sleeves, Even My Dad Does Sometimes, Icy Fire, and All of the Stars on the deluxe edition of Multiplier right here. Yes. And yeah, and also it came with this box here, this collector's edition multiplier box, which I got for Christmas 2017. And I actually wore this Christmas Day. I couldn't take it off, so I just cut it off. It was so tight on my wrist. And also here is some... Oh, there are some, like, pictures of Ed. Ew. And the limited edition multiplier box for right there. And yes, Ed Sheeran. And also some stickers as well in here. Eh, come on. Some stickers in there as well. Wristband back in there. Yes, I love it a lot. <clears throat> and here is I actually got this the um, multiply edition collector, the the first French multiply edition CD which I've got. I've got the second one which I'll show you guys in a minute, uh, and it includes a bonus CD which includes everything you are. Friends, sing live at radio concert. <laughs> yeah, I'm a mess live from Light Ship 95. Pretty much, I'm a mess from that, from his YouTube channel. And Don't Remix featuring Rick Cross, a rapper, an American rapper. And also, here is 
the Wembley edition of multiplayer, which includes his Jump Us the Goalposts DVD. Is it DVD? And includes six ex ex yeah. It includes six extra songs with Icy Fire, English Rose, Touch and Go, New York, Make It Rain, and Let It All On Me, rudimental featuring Ed Sheeran right there. Love it a lot. And I also got this in 2017 as well. Multiply Wembley Edition. I love it a lot. And also here is my final Multiply CD right here. The second French edition of Multiply. I can't believe there's two French editions of Multiply. There's so many versions of Multiply which I've got. It includes the original track list from 1 to a I Love. And it includes some other songs. Sing featuring Psy, Real Nick Few featuring Ed Sheeran, Lay All Me, Lay All on Me featuring Ed Sheeran, Photograph, Felix John remix, Sing Deezer Session, Thinking Out Loud Deezer Session, right there. So in total, I've got five versions of Multiply. Five versions. Yes. Oh, well, and we're on to the Divide CDs now. Let's Here go. is the standard edition of Multiply, and it's from a razor to supermarket flowers. Right here, and also, yeah, the standard edition of Multiply. I love it a lot, even though it's the supermarket flowers. Oh, well. And uh, here is the deluxe edition of Divide. I actually got this the day. Divide actually came out on the 3rd of March 2017. Divide right there. Divide with four extra song with four extra songs. Barcelona, BBABAA, Nancy Mulligan, and Save Myself. Look at that. I love it. And also Divide actually came with a French collector's edition as well. Well, French limited edition CD. And it includes oh, the original track listing. The deluxe track list and three extra live songs Shape of You Live at Taratata, Castle on the Hill Live at Taratata, and Supermarket Flowers Live at Taratata. Taratata, yeah, Taratata. A, a French TV show in, in France. I love it a lot. And you know what? And also, here is the number six collaborations projects, which came out in 2019. I was about to say last year, but it's 2021 now, isn't it? Yes. It's the last album. There is no extra CD, sadly, for the Number 6 Collaborations projects. I wish there was a deluxe version of Number 6, but of course this wasn't a main Ed album. It was just the side projects, the Number 6 Collaborations projects. But also I've got the Number 6 Collaborations projects on a cassette. which I haven't got a cassette version on any of Ed's other albums. Cassette there, number six collaborations projects on a cassette, which I love a lot. And yeah, there is all my Ed Sheeran CD album collection right there as of January 2021. And I'll do an updated singles CD collection for you guys soon. And I'm sorry I haven't been uploading videos on YouTube, I've been streaming Afterglow, a lot streaming, a lot of Ed Sheeran, been working, and yeah, so yeah, here, if you guys enjoyed this video, please like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in another video, peace.